my credentials are nothing, so I just like to listen to music. That's that's it. So just don't be mean. <laughs> hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my top 100 songs and um, music is a very personal thing and I feel like I'm being very vulnerable putting this out for you guys so don't be mean um, I feel like generally I have a pretty decent music taste but um, keep in mind that I could have forgotten songs um, I could have I, at the end, I was kind of just throwing songs in because um, the first, I mean, they're not in order because that would have taken hours, maybe even days. Um, so they're not in order, but the first ones I came up with were definitely the ones that I think are the best. So it kind of sorted itself out that way. Um, but I was looking at my playlists in different orders. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind. These are not in order. So these are my top 100. Um, I'm just waiting for Google Sheets to download so that I can look at my document and read it for you guys. Um, this did take a very, very long time to come up with all of these and um, I'm doing this because Rolling Stone released their 500 songs, the like top 500 ever, um, an updated version because they hadn't released one since 2004, which is when I was born. So it's been a while, um, but I thought I would take my own liberties with it and um, make my own list. So some of the songs are the same, but I would say a lot of them, if not, I don't know, a very big percentage of them are not on that list. I scrolled through it very painstakingly and said, haven't heard that one before, haven't heard that one before. So yeah, so I'm, I'm taking this into my own hands and um, I just feel like uh, they're list was not completely accurate to what I would put so I wanted to do it myself and um, my credentials are nothing so I just like to listen to music that's that's it so just don't be mean <laughs> but um, I got Google Sheets up on my phone so let's get started so first the song that I think is the absolute best in the world is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen and that is no surprise I think Queen is like an absolute force, a complete musical genius, and basically any of their songs could have gotten on this list, um, but I think I chose maybe like five of them because I didn't want to just make the whole thing queen. That would have not been very nice or fair to other artists, but um, I think Queen and the Beatles really dominate this list. I think those are the two groups that ha like it's just the sheer power of their music creating ability. So yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody. I just think it's an absolute masterpiece. I could listen to that 10 times a day, every single day and just like never get bored of it. So yeah, that's number one. Now I'm just gonna go through kind of quickly. If I feel the need to explain a song, I will explain, but this is gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna try to be quick. Now we have Rocket Man by Elton John. Tiny Dancer by Elton John, and again, these are not in order, they're just stream of consciousness. Um, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Tears for Fears, um, Hey Jude by The Beatles, I Want You Back by Jackson 5, Happier Than Ever, Billie Eilish, Sign of the Times by Harry Styles, Surrender by Cheap Trick, More Than a Feeling by Boston, Just Like Heaven by The Cure, Tonight Tonight by Hot Chili Ray, Ain't No Rest for the Wicked by Cage the Elephant, uh, Mr. Brightside by The Killers, Pictures of You by The Cure, Paralyzer by Finger Eleven, Last Stop This Town by Eels, The Remedy by Jason Mraz, Yesterday by The Beatles, Where's My Mind by Pixies, The Chain by Fleetwood Mac, Let It Be by The Beatles, Killer Queen by Queen, Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy, and Somebody to Love, all those are by Queen, um, On the Floor by JLo and Pitbull, Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran, Remember When by Wallows, Tongue Tied by Group Love, Electric Love by Borns, Rockstar by Post Malone and 21 Savage, The King by Sarah Kinsley, What a Feeling by One Direction, Chikatita, um, Gimme Gimme Gimme, and Dancing Queen all by ABBA, 93 Million Miles by Jason Mraz, Lost in Japan, Wonder, and In My Blood all by Shawn Mendes, Fine Line by Harry Styles, Mr. Blue Sky by Electric Light Orchestra, Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin, Space Oddity by David Bowie, Baba O'Reilly by The Who, Boys Don't Cry by The Cure, 
Eleanor Rigby by The Beatles, Time to Pretend by MGMT, The Sounds of Silence, and The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. So that's 50. I'm like out of breath. I'm trying not to say these too fast so you guys have time to process them, but I am going to put up like album covers or a screenshot of something to show how you can recognize them and I will be making a Spotify playlist of this. I don't currently have a Spotify account so I'll have to make that. I listen to all of my music on um, a streaming service called Tidal. I'm gonna make a Spotify and share this with you guys so that link will be in the bio in case you want to listen to all of these and I was thinking about transferring some of my current playlists because I have a lot of playlists on there. Um, so that you guys can listen to those too and give me your feedback. Um, so yeah, look out for a Spotify. Um, I need to catch my breath and then let's continue. So next we have Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood, ZT E Buoni by Maniskin. I definitely butchered that song name, I'm sorry. It's a really good song though. Um, Chosen by Maniskin, Drag Me Down, Stockholm Syndrome, Night Changes, and Fireproof, all by One Direction. One Direction is also a definitely um, very present in this list, so I'm sorry if you don't like One Direction, but I've been coming to appreciate them a lot more in recent years, so um, Hayloft by Mother Mother, Willow by Taylor Swift, Everything is Sound by Jason Mraz, Industry Baby by Lil Nas X, and his new album is so good. I've been listening to it like twice a day and I don't skip any of them. It's just been so good. I don't I don't know why, but go listen to Montero. It's, it's really a vibe. So next is This Is Your Life by The Killers, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, Staying Alive by Bee Gees, Toxic by Britney Spears, Get Lucky by Daft Punk, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, Penny Lane by The Beatles, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, It's My Life by Bon Jovi, Everlong by Foo Fighters, Blank Space by Taylor Swift, um, Style and Delicate Also by Taylor Swift, Freedom 90 by George Michael, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, Thank You Next by Ariana Grande, Crazy by Aerosmith, Two Ghosts and Lights Up by Harry Styles, Song 2 by Blur, Africa by Toto, Lean On Me by Bill Withers, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John, Bittersweet Symphony, Montero by Lil Nas X, um, Animals by Maroon 5, and also Daylight by Maroon 5, The Hills by The Weeknd, Streets by Doja Cat, Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo, Favorite Crime by Olivia Rodrigo, Solar Power by Lord, A Sky Full of Stars by Coldplay, If I Can't Have You by Shawn Mendes, the Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala, Gives You Hell, The All-American Rejects, Stuck With You, Ariana Grande, and Justin Bieber, and One Dance by Drake. I'm like getting winded. My face is red. Jeez. So that is my top 100 songs. Um, like I said, I feel like I have a pretty good taste in music, but I don't want to get roasted, so don't roast me. It's a very personal thing. I'm being vulnerable be kind. So yeah, that that's my list. Let me know what songs that you would put on your list. I know that my songs are kind of from like a Gen Z perspective, so I feel like a lot of people in Gen Z would relate with some of these, especially the ones later on that are like very popular songs in recent years. Um, the first half at least of these songs are like older classic rock, which is kind of what I identify with. I love classic rock. That's my favorite genre to listen to. And also look out for the Spotify playlist. I think this would be an incredibly stacked playlist, although it might be a little tough to listen to when you have classic rock, but then also like super bass. So that, that might be a little interesting, but just so you guys can get a feel for what these songs are, especially if you haven't heard some of them. I know um, a decent amount of them are not super popular and never were super mainstream so yeah you should you should check out these songs I think these are a hundred songs that I would recommend that any person listen to and I think they would enjoy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing what my music taste is and it is ever-changing that's why I didn't order them especially but um 
honestly probably tomorrow I'll find a song and I'll be like whoa I love this song so much and then my whole top 100 would be changed so it happens but this is my top 100 as of today so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um make sure to follow me on all social media at rosie revolts and check out my etsy shop also at rosie revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and i will see you guys later bye